Hey crafty friends, thank you very much for joining me. This is Anat Kessler with Saturday Mix Travaganza and today I'm creating another art journal page. Um, I'm gonna start with covering my pages with gesso, of course. Remember this primes your paper and seals it so all the stuff you're gonna put on it is not gonna bleed or get absorbed by the paper so it won't wrinkle and um, it won't blend and it won't tear and it will be so much better and easier for you to work this way so you cover your um, pages with some gesso and let it dry completely of course with your heat tool and now I have a surprise for you after you dry this completely you turn over your page and you cover another pair of pages and we're gonna work on two pages today simultaneously and I'm not gonna tell you why uh, until later so this is gonna be a surprise but you have to bear with me because it's gonna be worth it. it's gonna be really cool so you cover another double page spread with gesso and let it dry completely we're gonna alternate while we work uh, with these two spreads. So once that's dry we can start we go back to the first spread and we can start working with our acrylic paints. I'm gonna work a lot with acrylic paints today doing all the patterns and all the backgrounds and everything. So I have here a little bit of this is kind of a red um, with some water I want it to be very diluted, very almost like water paints. And I know it's a small space for such a big brush, but it's just for this part, so I don't care. Anyway, I'm going to cover my entire spread here with this uh, paint. And I don't care that it's not uh, the same tone. It's kind of fun actually that it's darker on one side and lighter on the other side. Um, and then once you've covered the entire page you just dry it and then go and cover the other spread. Remember we have two. Don't forget we have two spreads. So we're gonna cover the other spread with the exact same uh, paint diluted with water. Have to add a little bit of paint and some water and then I'm good to go and it's also easier sometimes to just water your page uh, instead of the water that's also one way of doing things so I'm taking my orange now and I'm starting my stencil layering I'm going to do a lot of stencil layering here and um, when you work with a lot of stencils, a lot of patterns, the best thing to do is start with your larger pattern, with your larger shapes. So I'm going to start with these big circles. And I'm working with the little sponge that I have. It's really very easy to to work to stencil with with a sponge like that. But you have other options. You can work with a brush or a bigger sponge or whatever is uh, works best for you. So once you've done your pattern on the first spread, you go ahead and do another pattern on the other spread. Now, I don't want the two spreads to be exactly the same, but I want them to be the same stencils in the same colors, only in different, you know, places. So this pattern of big circles on the other spread is going to be horizontal. The other one was vertical. So I'm going to play, you know, with the place of the stencil but not the color or the shape because I want them to be like twins but not identical twins I hope that makes sense you guys anyway <clears throat> after working with the big stencil of the circles I'm gonna bring some aqua color in and um, again uh, you have to clean your sponge in between colors otherwise you're gonna have big mess and I'm gonna work with this uh, stencil, the Harlequin, I really like that one. And again, you just stencil your uh, page with the paint. 
and you have to dry it first before you move to the other spread because it's going to smear so you dry your stenciling whatever you did and then you go and do the other one now again not identical but very similar because you have the same pattern and the same color but the amount or where you put it on your page is going to be different so that's going to re re uh, look really cool and I bet you're wondering why we're doing that but I'm not going to tell you just yet you will have to be patient and wait okay my next color this is sort of an aqua light blue uh, color more blue than green and I'm going to bring in the little circles and stencil them on my page do the other side and then dry it with my heat tool and do the other spread I also like to move my papers around so the other pages will be protected and I wouldn't be worried about any paint smearing or going off over to the next or to the other pages of the book so again dry everything and I really like this stencil as well and I'm gonna use it twice first I'm gonna use it with a yellow color which is gonna be very bright and sunny actually it's not yellow it's light green I'm gonna use the yellow for something else so light green going on and on the other side now you might find sponging with the stencils really works on your biceps actually so I don't think I'll go to the gym today my hands are from all the sponging especially this one because the pattern is really small and you have to work really hard to get the paint in so it's kind of fun you guys so you work your stencil with this color and don't forget again don't forget to dry each spread before you move on to the next one now for the yellow I'm taking this dot uh, pattern here it's really cool it has um, big ones and smaller ones you know like a graduated pattern there that is um, gradual from big to small so we're just alternating between those two spreads and adding more and more patterns with more and more colors uh, creating the layers like I said in the beginning and I really like how it's turning out and we're gonna do so much more on it so it's gonna be really cool so once we're done with the yellow we can dry things off and now I'm going to go back in with this stencil but with a really stronger color this is like a burgundy dark red color that I'm going to add again make sure you go into all those little nooks and crannies of the stencil because they're very small so you don't want to miss any of them so you'll have a great pattern on your page see isn't that cool I really like it so now spring now the point of spring here is not exactly to cover everything with another paint or another color the point here is to unify the entire page because we have lots of shapes and lots of colors and we don't want it to be to to be a you know clutter or to be messy for the eyes so what I'm doing is I'm spraying in basically very mild colors that have al almost the same color as the background namely very light pink and yellow and you know maybe very 
a light gold and things like that colors like that and if you can start looking if you see the page it has a more uniform uh, look I'm gonna go over to the other spread in a second and you'll see the difference of this one looks much nicer than the other one the other one still looks cluttered see and now we're gonna do the same thing on my um, other spread first we have to add our burgundy pattern here the dark red one really like this color it's very bold so once we do that we can go ahead and start spraying after of course you dry everything with your heat tool and you'll see how ev all the shapes are um, sort of get a cohesive look and the page becomes more um, uniform for lack of a better word um, so it's almost like having another background on top see how better that looks of course if you go in with bolder and darker colors that's gonna mess the entire uh, pattern so keep it mild so I have here uh, seven gypsies um, tissue paper really love this tissue paper it's I love the pattern and it's so th thin that while you glue it down to your paper it looks like it's the paper itself it really blends well with whatever you put it so I've cut a bird here and I'm gonna add it but before we're adding now you're gonna discover why we had two spreads now the middle page the middle page I'm gonna cut out some of it and leave just a little page in between so I'm cutting a portion of the top and a portion of the bottom so I'm gonna have like a tag or a smaller page in between the larger pages I'm gonna cut here as well so this is why we had to do two spreads because now we have a spread with a tag in between and these pieces that I've cut out I'm gonna use them for something else don't worry don't throw them away so I'm just inking the edges of my little page in the middle isn't that cool you guys and now I can start adding my tissue paper pieces and shapes remember I cut out the bird I still have my bird there and some music notes which I'm just tearing out don't need to cut that and you take a little bit of gel medium you can add all those pieces of tissue paper to your art journal and you'll see once you add it and you go over it with another layer of gel medium it's so thin that it just looks like it's part of the paper like it's part of the background that it was there to begin with I really like that not all tissue papers can do that some of them are not as thin and are annoying but this one I really like it so there's my bird and I'm gonna add some uh, tissue paper pieces also to the larger pages make sure this is on the right side okay because there you can see but there's a little bit of text there and I don't want it to be the wrong side and I'm gonna cut out another bird and put it on that page so this little page in the middle is going to be uh, like uh, a hidden door you can say for stuff that we're gonna put under it and on it and you're just gonna see in a sec so I'm just adding some more pieces of 
tissue paper and I think I'm gonna add one more piece in here and the final piece I think I'm gonna add it there so I'm just cutting I'm gonna put it here it's another feather and a stamp and some script there okay so now um, I'm just gonna dry everything so it won't stick and I'm gonna bring my uh, pit artist pen this is a black one and I'm just gonna go over the edges of the little page in the middle to just make it pop more really love this pen I have to have I have to get more colors and smear is really nicely it's not like a marker that once you've written or did something with it it won't you know it will permanent and won't do anything this one you can smudge it and smear it and it's really cool okay now take a little piece of paper and write your quote if you want to I think this quote is really cool because um, this Saturday is the Day of Atonement for us Jews around the world or Yom Kippur maybe you've heard of it it's the day that you ask forgiveness from God and from your friends and families for whatever wrongs you've done or you know something like that anyway I've um, inked all the pages all the words sorry with uh, distress ink and I've cut all the words into little um, letters because I don't I just want to bring them you know add them to my art journal like a puzzle so I didn't leave the words whole I cut them into letters and I'm just gonna go in and add letter by letter with some gel medium now the fun thing about this is that since you have covered your page your white page where you wrote your quote with distress ink and as you know distress ink is oh my you I forgot the you okay so distress ink is water based so once I go over it with the gel medium it smears a little bit and actually I want it to smear a little bit because then it blends with the colors of the art journal page and it looks like it belongs there and it's not too white and too um, obvious or not obvious but it's too not too bold so I'm gonna divide my quote into two parts forgive yourself for not knowing is going to be on one side and that can be a uh, you know a quote in itself but then when you turn over the little page in the middle you find out that there is another part to the quote and that is forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't and you'll see in a sec so I'm just keep on adding those letters the best and fastest way to do it with 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 some tweezers so and I'm gonna add my final piece of the quote in the area that is under the little page in the middle so it will hide it until you turn it over and then you see it so I think that's very clever right you guys what do you think so anyway the other part of the quote is what you didn't know before you learned it so that's a really smart quote so the entire quote is forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't know before you learn it 
So this is the art journal page that we did today. I hope you really like it like I did because I had a lot of fun doing it. This is up close with all the details and the stencils and the shapes and the letters and the tissue paper. And then we flip this over and we have another, it's like an entire new page. It's like we did two pages in one. It's like a, you know, it's like a bargain. So you have a really nice page here. I hope I've inspired you and maybe you'll learn something new too. I had a lot of fun you guys and I hope you did too. And you have the two parts of the quote here. Uh, which is kind of smart too. And makes you think, isn't it? So I hope you all had fun. Thank you very, very much for joining me. And thank you for all your love and support and your shares. And please visit my Facebook page and my blog. And I will see you all next time in our next tutorial. Bye, you guys.